फ्रेंड्स कैन यू बिलीव दिस जस्ट वन मशीन अ सिंगल जेंट मशीन कैन होल्ड होस्टेज अ नेशन ऑफ वन पॉइंट फोर बिलियन पीपल वन मशीन दैट कैन डीले प्रोजेक्ट फॉर थाउजेंड ऑफ क्रोर बाई इस वन मशीन दैट कैन इवन फोर्स द फॉरन मिनिस्टर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी टू प्लीड विद चाइना फॉरन मिनिस्टर Sounds unbelievable, right? But this is exactly what has been happening with tunnel boring machine or TBMs. For years, China used TBMs like a weapon, holding India's infrastructure projects hostage. But now that chapter may be ending, because India has decided to make its own TBMs. and leading this mission is our own public sector company bml so today let's understand why this machine is so important how china arm twisted us with it and what changes when india finally builds its own tbm machines chapter 1 what is a tbm so first what exactly is a tbm tunnel boring machine just the name tells you its job imagine a monster machine nearly 100 meters long weighing 700 tons it is like a factory moving underground at the front is a giant rotating cutter head that chews through rocks as easily as a knife through butter Behind it the machine simultaneously builds the concrete walls of the tunnel as it advances whether it is a metro rail project a highway tunnel or a high speed rail project you can do it without tbms india has already built over 1000 kilometers of metro tunnels and in the next 4 to 5 years we plan to build another 1100 kilometers that is massive but here's the embarrassing part Until now we didn't have even a single TBM of our own we had to import them mostly from China and that is where the trouble began chapter 2 China's leverage you see TBMs are not just machines they are strategic assets China knew this when relations soured China started delaying and denying supply of TBMs to India and that single decision pushed back some of india's biggest metro projects by years delhi metro mumbai metro bengaluru metro even the prestigious mumbai ahmedabad bullet train projects all saw delays because china refused to deliver tbms on time it reached a point where india's external affairs minister s jay shankar had to personally raise the issue with china's foreign minister wang yi just to get the machines released think about it a single machine forcing our leaders to negotiate at the diplomatic table that is how much control china had on this chapter 3 india's own tbm bml bharat earth movers limited a psu under the ministry of defense has now stepped up the game they have announced plans to manufacture tbms right here in india now we are talking machines ranging from 6 meters to 16.5 meters in diameter To start with BML is focusing on a 6.5 meter diameter TBM for Delhi Metro phase 4. Now this won't be easy. BML has already invited global partners for consultancy and design help. They are in talks with companies from Austria and Japan. Now these are the countries with deep expertise in tunnel technology. Because make no mistake A TBM is not just a big chunk of steel it is precision engineering of highest order giant cutter heads custom bearings powerful hydraulic systems and gear boxes that can survive hell underground back in 2009 BML actually tried this once with a french partner but they pulled back the technology was too complex for them back then and they thought economics won't work because they thought demand was low domestically but they could have thought big that they could export these machines to the world like china is now doing but finally now india has decided to go ahead and make its own tbm 
चैप्टर फोर वाई नाउ वाई इंडिया नीड्स दिस अर्जेंटली जस्ट लुक अराउंड इंडिया इज बिल्डिंग मेट्रो इन ट्वेंटी थ्री सिटीज राइट नाउ इन जस्ट अ फ्यू इयर्स दिस नंबर विल क्रॉस थर्टी एड टू दिस द माउंटेन टनल्स हाई स्पीड रेल कॉरिडोर्स एंड आर आर टी एस नेटवर्क बुलेट ट्रेन प्रोजेक्ट एंड द डिमांड फॉर टी बी एम इज एक्सप्लोडिंग बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी इंडिया विल नीड अराउंड थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स ऑफ टनल नेटवर्क That means at least 40 large TBMs are required. Each machine costs 80 to 100 crore rupees. Importing them drains billions of dollars in foreign exchange, and even worse, it takes two to three years for one imported TBM to be manufactured, shipped, and assembled in India. And if a country like China decides to block supply, your projects are stuck. indefinitely they can hold your projects hostage at their will that is why making tbms in india isn't just about saving money it's about saving time ensuring self reliance and protecting national interest chapter 5 challenges ahead of course this won't be a cake walk technology mastery is key india's geology is complex hard rock in one state soft soil in another one size doesn't fit all we will need a variety of tbm designs that is why r and d and funding is critical bml alone can't shoulder this government support is important and supply chain tbms need specialized parts massive bearings cutter disks hydraulic systems building an ecosystem of supplies for these in india will take time and then there is geopolitics Even if India makes TBMs, global players may try to protect their turf. China, especially, won't like losing their leverage. But for India, the opportunity is too big to ignore amid all these challenges. So, friends, here is the takeaway: for years, a single machine gave China enormous power over India's infrastructure growth story. But now, with BML's initiative. India is finally breaking free. Yes, it is tough. Yes, it is expensive, but the payoff is massive. Faster projects, billions saved, and most importantly, independence from foreign pressure. And one day, maybe made in India TBMs will not only dig our own tunnels but also power infrastructure projects around the world. That should be our dream. So now tell me what do you think on this can india really master this game changing machine or will we continue to depend on imports drop your thoughts in the comments and if you found this story powerful interesting don't forget to subscribe and support keep looking for better let's meet again namaste